100 of our nation's colleges recently issued a report suggesting state legislatures across the country consider lowering the drinking age from 21 to 18. What do you think of this proposal? Mr. Arbertine, would you like to respond? Sure. My initial response to this, and I've heard it in the past, of lowering the drinking age, uh, I do not support the idea of lowering the drinking age to age 18. Uh, and my primary reason for not supporting it to age 18 is I believe uh, that there are far too many high school students uh, who would in turn be able to provide uh, alcohol to minors uh, 17 years of age and younger. Uh, there are too many high school seniors that are age 18. Uh, age 19 is, a, is another topic. That's a, a discussion that's been taking place. Uh, typically, a, uh, a freshman in college uh, is, is typically 19 years old. Uh, I'm not sure I support that either in light of the fact that um, you know the drinking age is already 21 uh, and we'd be rolling it back essentially to age 19. But as far as supporting it at age 18, I don't. Mr. Enzi, would you like to respond? Well, um, yeah, my, my position on that is, uh, you know, I was going to say, now that I'm 21, I guess it's, it's okay to keep it the way it is. <laughs> Look, I, it comes down to a safety issue. Uh, I think there's a lot of statistics out there as to what would happen if the drinking age were lowered back to 18. And there's been numerous studies done on vehicular accidents, on uh, you know just what happens when young people sometimes have a little too much fun. And so from a st statistical perspective, um, I think it's important to keep the drinking age where it is. Now, if you're talking about military, however, I have a different perspective for that. I think people that are serving their country, that are potentially in the line of fire, uh, they're in a different boat. And I distinguish that also with a lot of military people have a little more structure than some teenagers do. I know they have more structure than I had when I was a teenager. Uh, and I think uh, it's important to acknowledge the military, what they do for us, and maybe have, uh, you know, have a little bit of leniency in that capacity.